It's time to go inside innovation, brought to you by Allegiant Pioneering Safety. Well, Carmel-based Kinetic Advantage, a financial services provider for auto dealers, is expanding its footprint and adding some 225 jobs. In less than a year, Kinetic has launched in 25 markets around the country, securing more than $225 million of initial debt and equity funding to support that expansion. I'm pleased to be joined on the show this week by CEO Marty McFarland uh, with more on what's fueling growth. And Marty, welcome to the show. Thank you, Gary. Uh, first of all, let's give the uh, uh, viewers the thumbnail sketch of the business model uh, at Kinetic Advantage. Uh, you talk about uh, being an automotive floor plan financing company, really providing capital to these independent dealers? Sure. You know, um, about 10 to 12 million cars a year are sold by independent dealers to automotive consumers. Um, it's kind of the natural go-to for a lot of folks looking to buy that secondhand car or really, you know, kind of their mainstream vehicle to go to and from work. And the used car dealer is facing a lot of challenges today. Um, they are really hardworking entrepreneur, entrepreneurs. A lot of people don't think about that, but these guys get up and work really hard every day. Um, they're faced, you know, with the big franchise dealers as competitors. The market is moving to digital and the cost of the inventory continues to go up. So what we do is we provide a very seamless to the uh, retail consumer. Marty, you've launched less than a year ago. You're already making some, some headlines. In fact, this week announcing plans right. to expand your headquarters uh, in, uh, in Carmel, $4 million investment, perhaps as many as 225 jobs. Talk about uh, the reasons behind that, uh, that investment. Sure, uh, we believe there's a really o a big opportunity in the space, given the size and scope of the market and my team's background, we're all experienced in this space. We, um, we created what is now the largest company in the space and elected to kind of go on our own and, and stand up a new, uh, a new company to um, help with that expansion. Carmel and Indiana were a, a natural place for us to land. It's a great business environment, great workforce, you know, highly motivated workforce, great educated workforce. Um, we started out with 30 people in July. Uh, we're up to 75 Hoosiers today. And over the next handful of years, we expect to grow to, you know, another 225 to 250 um, Indiana employees here locally. Yeah, and Marty, technology is a big part of what you do and really at the heart uh, leveraging technology to do what you do. Yes. Um, you know, like everything in life, uh, everything's moving to digital, right? And it's no different than the auto business. And as you know, um, that's all been accelerated through the pandemic. So all of our dealers naturally, because they're not franchise dealers, they have to go out and secure their inventory through auto auctions. Mm -hmm. Historically, that was always the physical auction, right? They go to the, to the building and you know, look over the inventory and buy it you know, right in front of them live. Well, today, a lot of that is done digitally and it continues to be more so all the time. The technology that we're building is really world-class. It's really the first of its kind. It's really focused on digital transactions. Um, Dealers need to be highly efficient in securing their inventory and funding is part of that process. So sources to make these transactions really fluid, allow them to outfit their lot and allow that consumer to buy at a, and frankly a better price because the efficiencies are a lot of people uh, paying attention. Uh, Altamont uh, Capital Partners, private uh, equity firm in San Francisco with a major infusion of capital last November into the company. Marty McFarland, uh, thanks for joining us this week. Uh, serial entrepreneur, this is I think your third Indiana company. We'll look it forward is. to following your, your progress and have you on the show again in the future. Thank you, Gary. All right.